Good afternoon, everybody. It gives me great pleasure to be here moderating the panel of Migrant Voices. And indeed, we have a very distinguished and interesting group around me today, all women, as you can see, uh, which is intimidating in itself, uh, all very successful. We have two, um, two people who are members of their national, either their national parliament or have been a member of their national government. And we have two young children of migrants. And uh, in many respects, what we're looking at here today is the transition from being a migrant to being a diaspora and people who are living with the reality of this journey. And we talk about migration in this hallowed chamber. We have interesting policy papers that are terribly important. But at the end of the day, the day-to-day -day life of the migrant or of the diaspora or of the second or third generation who's coping with the reality of a political scene that probably we'll, we'll hear from our guests what they have to say, but I think the general consensus would be that the perception of migrants is not going through the happiest time at the moment. So without further ado, I will introduce one by one our guests and ask them to give a not too lengthy description of their personal journey, and then we'll have a discussion about it. So to my right, I have uh, the Honorable Jasmine Lee, who's born in Korea and traveled to the Republic of, born in the Philippines rather, excuse me, born in the Philippines, and, and then travels, and she'll tell you the story herself, travels to the Republic of Korea and is a member of the National Assembly. So I'm giving